Okay, so in my previous video, you remember we was assembling the jig around the two plywood forms, and we just placed them in a bath of uh, heated water there, actually, to act as the steam in the steam uh, plywood bending process to soften up the resins and allow it to take on this form. Now, we test bent this uh, last time, okay? The, the purpose of that was just to kind of get the feel for the bend, allow the plywood to sort of start taking on this bend and sort of uh, encouraging it to go around this curve. Again, if we had a steaming uh, system, we had a box where we could steam the plywood, this would probably be less necessary because the resins would be very, very soft, the plywood would be a lot more pliable than what we've got. So, I'm just going to take this apart now and what we're actually going to do is use some uh, PVA glue or as I suggest choosing wood, wood adhesive, or even if you've got um, availability to use cascamite, okay, which is a slightly stronger powder-based glue for gluing wood together, I would suggest that, but we're using wood adhesive. Uh, it's slightly better than some of the washable PVAs that you can get. They seem to be a little bit watered down. You need something that's quite viscous and doesn't have a high water content to ensure that, that bond goes together. So we're using the wood adhesive there. So I'm just gonna release this from the clamps. It shouldn't spring too badly because of the uh, jig design that we've got that actually holds this together. As you can see, it's kind of holding that in place. Now, I've only left this in for a short amount of time, so it's still actually a little bit moist. I'd probably advise leaving these if you've got a chance for uh, overnight or something like that, for about a day, because when these come out of the form, the, um, the resins would have dried in this sort of new form, and it's very likely that they will take on the shape. Now, as I remove that, you can see it's still flexing back in its current state, so it's not quite there. It's still a little bit damp. So, I'm just gonna dry these forms off and we're going to apply quite a liberal coating of PVA glue to the inside form. So I'm just going to get some PVA glue here, I've got a small piece of plywood just to use as a spatula, and I'm applying this quite liberally to the actual uh, surface that we've got there. Making sure that it goes to the edges, and I've got a fairly even distribution of uh, glue onto the actual surface there. And then again, we're just going to place this straight back in the form. And now, at this point, I'm just going to remove some of the excess around the outside. One of the key things that we want to try and avoid is making sure that our plywood doesn't stick to our actual form, which would be pretty catastrophic because we want to actually get it out. So I'm just placing that back in the form there. It's my first layer in, and then holding it in place just to apply the second layer on top of my former like that, okay? So that's those two bits are together. At this point it's slightly difficult to align because you've got the added difficulty of the glue making the uh, two pieces of wood slide around a little bit more than they would if they were just dry, but we're gonna place those in. And then the second half of our former is going back on top again here. We're looking for those alignment marks to be as close as possible. I want the edges to be aligned as possible. And as you can see, some of that glue is coming out from the sides, which we should expect, okay? So now I'm gonna put my first clamp back on the bottom. Again, if you've got access to more than one set of hands, this is very useful, because it just makes this process just a little bit easier. But I haven't today, so we're just gonna try and do this as best we can. And then once again, the top clamp going in place top here. So those alignment marks are pretty close. As I say, if you've got access to more than one person when you're doing this, it does help, but when I've got one um, clamp in place, you can see there's a slight misalignment here. What I can do is obviously release this and do a little bit of correction with my hands, try and get these together, and then reapply the clamp afterwards. Okay, so there we go. That's not too bad. The alignment here at this point where I'm um, aligning the two jig halves together is not too bad. As you can see, we've got some of the PVA that's squirting out from the edge. So I'm just going to get a paper towel and damp this slightly. Don't need it too wet. I'm just going to remove any excess glue from the edge. This is important, as I said, because we don't want the jig to actually adhere to the forming because that could be pretty bad. It will make it difficult to uh, remove the product. So I'm just taking that excess off there. We'll do the same on the other side. We've got quite a lot of glue coming out of the uh, side of the product like this. I'll just take off that excess and then wipe it with a dry cloth as well to remove any additional glue. So hopefully, if we leave this in here for about 24 hours overnight, we should come in tomorrow and find this uh, glue has allowed the form to hold together.